Hey guys, it's Mike Chan. Welcome to my kitchen. Haven't seen you in a while. Did you, you miss me a little bit? Just, just a little bit? Nah? Alright. <laughs> I could take it. Mm. Anyway, a lot of you guys has been asking me for a ramen recipe. Now, I know most people may you want a Japanese ramen recipe, but today I'm going to show you a Chinese ramen recipe, and this is one of my all-time favorite dishes. Like, especially when I'm visiting places like Taiwan, I just have to have this dish. Beef noodle soup. Now, what's really interesting about this dish is that there's so many different variations of beef noodle soup. There's Sichuan beef noodle soup, where it's more spicy and nummy. There's Lanzhou beef noodle soup. Like, it feels like almost every single province, every single region in China has their own variation of beef noodle soup. And today I'm going to show you my version. And trust me, if you follow these steps, this is going to be a masterpiece in your mouth, all right? Like, if you just made this dish on your first date and decided to, I don't know, just pop the question, I don't care if you guys just met, they're going to say yes. Because in that moment, whoever is eating this, they're going to just be in a state of pure bliss. Now, I do have to say that this dish requires a lot of random ingredients, but all things you can get at a local Chinese store or pretty much on Amazon. And if you're missing an ingredient or two, it's not the end of the world, but this is optimal. Okay, so you will need dark and light soy sauce, Chinese vinegar, Chinese cooking wine, Chinese bean paste or bean sauce. Again, something you can get in any Chinese supermarket. This is something that's a very signature to how the Taiwanese make their beef noodle soup. And I think it adds so much flavor to this dish. You'll need some salt, brown sugar or rock sugar if you have it. I'm using brown sugar today because I know most of you probably only have brown sugar. So I'll show you what to do with that. A couple of bok choy, you don't need to use that if you don't want to, but I do like a little leafy green in my beef noodle soup. Quarter of a medium sized onion, and then a couple servings of this. This is the Chinese ramen. And this is a trick for you guys. If you go to a Chinese supermarket, don't always buy the noodles in the dry noodle section. Go to the freezer section. There should be fresh noodles there like this. And they come in all lengths and sizes. So these are the best noodles to use for basically any noodle dish. For meat, then this is up to you, but I love using flank. And this is also something that's used very, very often in Chinese beef noodle soup. Even though flank is, is typically not something that people love to cook with, but this thing, it has meat, it has tendon, there's different textures to it. And trust me, this will melt in your mouth after you're done cooking it. But if you don't like tendon, that's okay. Using chuck is also good. And for the broth flavoring, we have one scallion, one teaspoon of white pepper, three star anise, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. However much garlic you want to use, use it. It's, it's going to be fine. Trust me. Two medium pieces of what we call chen pi, where these are dried orange peels, three pieces of what Chinese call gan cao, also known as Chinese licorice, four bay leaves, one cinnamon stick, one teaspoon of fennel seeds, and I got five pieces of ginger sitting here. And also for the meats, I'm using two pounds of it. And I am gonna use an Instant Pot today uh, to make this recipe, and I'll also teach you how to make it on a traditional stove. But the Instant Pot is just so quick, like 30 minutes, that's it, it's cooked. And honestly, although there is a lot of things here, a lot of different ingredients, putting it together, really not that difficult. Okay, let's get started. So first of all, you need to get a regular pot, and I like having a little strainer. And we're going to fill this with 12 ounces of water. Scallion, really simple. Just cut the white part into three sections. Chop up the green part and we'll save it for later. Take our meat, and you don't need to be that specific with it. Just cut it up into chunks. Even a big piece like that, that's okay. Beef goes in the cold water, toss in two pieces of the ginger, bring this to a boil and let it cook for about five minutes. This is the scum fighting part of this whole cooking process. Hope you guys like fighting scum. And fighting scum is something we all should do. Okay, see all that scum floating on top? We gotta get rid of that. If you cook the beef, didn't clean it at all, your soup is gonna look, well, it's gonna look like that. So this is why we got a strainer. Let's take this out. And that's a really easy way to deal with this. So you don't need to take like a, like a strainer and just keep skimming out the top. One move, your beef, your scum is right over there. Now you're gonna use the water, wash the beef, clean the beef up, and you're good. What's left here, look at this. This is pretty good broth. Next, grab your Instapot or your regular pot, whatever you wanna use, and we're just gonna put our spices into these little filter bags. And I got a lot of different ingredients and spices, so. 
I'm gonna use two of these bags. All right, so if you're using a pot, low heat, a little bit of oil. If you're using an instant pot, saute, a little bit of oil. Take the quarter of onion, the ginger, and the scallions you have, and throw that in there. Also, toss in your garlic, and we're just gonna brown them for a little bit. Just cook this for about a minute or so. All right, after a few minutes, the aroma should be bursting out of these. Then, add the tablespoon of brown sugar, and keep stirring it. One thing I forgot to say, before you add the brown sugar, if the pot's looking a little dry, drizzle some more oil in there. Obviously, if you just put the brown sugar into a dry pot, it's not gonna do much. So once that's bubbling, add our beef. Toss that around, let the sugar cover the beef a little. Next up, tablespoon of dark soy sauce, three tablespoons of light soy sauce, half a cup of Shaoxing cooking wine, tablespoon of the fermented bean sauce, and personally, I like adding a tablespoon of ketchup. Toss that together, and that's already starting to smell good. Then we're gonna dump the broth that we cooked into the pot. Add the rest of your ingredients in there, cinnamon stick in the two flavor packs. Push that into the broth. Top on. Pressure cooker, 30 minutes. Now, if you're not using Instant Pot, turn the heat up high, take that to a boil, then low heat and simmer for three hours. Beef is cooked, I'm just gonna let it simmer and cook some noodles. Look how tender the beef is. Gentle pull of my chopstick completely falls apart. Tendon part too. This is gonna melt in your mouth. And this is where we're gonna salt to taste. So, mm, very beefy. You can use salt or chicken bouillon, whatever you prefer. Personally, I like a little bit of both. A little salt, a little bouillon. Oh, that's perfect. Mm. Oh, that makes me happy. Again. Again, ridiculously tender chunks of beef. Clear, delicious broth. Oh yeah. That's so beefy. Oh, that is just packed full of beef flavor. That's some feel good, so uplifting broth. You feel a little sick, a little down, whatever it is. Oh, sip of that makes it all better. I cannot eat beef noodle soup without some Chinese vinegar and some hot oil. Vinegar and chilies always go with beef noodle soup. In Taiwan, they use white vinegar, but I always, always use black vinegar. And again, just add a hint of hot oil. Just a hint. No more. Ultimate test. Piece of the beef. Mm. Wow. That literally tasted like beef butter. Literally, these pieces of beef. Barely need to chew it. If you want to make the beef even more ridiculously tender, after it's done cooking in the pressure cooker, just let it sit there and simmer for another hour. Noodles are good, really springy. The best way to eat this dough, a bite of noodles and a slurp of soup. That tastes like everything I want from food in my life. Oh, that's nice. I guarantee you, follow my recipe. Ain't gonna be that different between this and a restaurant. Plus you'll look like a beefy hero. And your whole family after taking a bite will be telling you that this is McDonald's cause they be loving it. Anyway guys, as always, all the ingredients listed down below. Try it out, let me know how you like it. As always, thank you all so much for watching. See you later.